Okay, it's Monday, April 8th, and I'm heading back to the pond in Superior Township. I was here yesterday, and one of the dead mute swans came up to shore, but it being Sunday, I did not uh, bag it, because the DNR is not open on Sunday, and I have really no freezer at my home to store it. So I'm heading back there today, hopefully to get the dead mute swan. Hopefully it's not been eaten by like a coyote or raccoon or something like that. But hopefully I can bag it and take it to the DNR. Hope you enjoy my videos. Okay, the one dead mute swan is still over there. Then yesterday, we're gonna see if he's still over here, the dead mute swan. Yep, he's right over here. And it doesn't look like any animal touched him from... I was here about 22 hours ago. Yeah, he's still here. There he is. Woo-wee! This one's probably gonna stink. But, uh, I'm gonna get him in a bag here. And, uh take him to the wildlife office so hopefully it won't stink too much okay moment of glory here hopefully this guy won't stink too much got a couple garbage bags and I also have a sack but wow boy this guy is huge No, it's not that bad. <laughs> I hope my friends are enjoying this video. Boy, oh boy. We got a little... Oh, my. Ah. Yeah, there's, there look like some blood on this guy. Huh. Not sure. No extra, but. Oh, geez. Come on, Bubby. Oh. A little bit of a snow right there. Oh boy. Come on. I'm actually kind of happy that this guy came to the shore because holy cow, these suckers are huge. Oh, oh man. Get in there. Oh. All righty, one bag. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm kind of happy that this guy came to the shore because if he didn't come to the shore and I would have to go out there. Last week when I was in the water, that would have been crazy to bag this guy in the water. I would have had to drag him back to the shore here. So, uh, things are working out all right here. Woo-wee! I only brought two gar garbage bags here. Hopefully. And I got that sack. Uh, that sucker's gonna fit in that sack for, for sure, anyway. This guy probably weighs about 30-some pounds. I got more garbage bags in my car. Woo wee!
But hopefully figure out how this how this mute swan died. If he died by a disease or if he died by the two trumpeter swans. I really hope the Michigan DNR can figure that one out. Alright, thanks to Dexter Mill here. I'm gonna put this guy in this sack right over here. This is a little bit heavier sack. This sack can hold 50 pounds of corn, so should be able to hold this mute swan. But the, gotta get the sucker in here first. There we go. Woo wee! Well, yeah, probably about like. 25, 30 pounds for sure. But I'm gonna tie him up here. And off we go to Southfield, Michigan to the DNR office. They'll take it to the the disease office, I think, which is in Lansing. But I uh, hope you enjoy my videos. Okay, I am leaving the pond, and the trumpeters were on the other side of the pond over here. And uh, I do believe they're nesting right over in that area. But wow, heading my way to the DNR now. And hopefully they can call, I mean, determine the cause of death. Hope you have a great day. Okay, I'm coming up to the DNR office here in Michigan to drop off the dead mute swan, and hopefully they'll be happy to see me. Okay, I just dropped off the dead mute swan at the DNR. They say it's gonna take about a month. Uh, they send it out to Lansing to the disease control uh, center. And um, I'm gonna call and do a lot of follow up and hopefully get some answers to what caused the death of this mute swan. But uh, the, the, free, the freezer was kind of packed with a lot of dead animals. Had to move like a dead deer's head and a couple other carcasses around just to fit the mute swan in the freezer so that was kind of interesting and uh, the lady that was helping me out uh, she didn't she didn't come close to the freezer and I asked her if she was scared of the dead carcasses and she said no no <laughs> but it was a little funny but I hope you enjoy my video